What's up guys, Jordan Patton here with a brand new NASCAR diecast review. And today we're going to be doing a little bit of a comparison video, but also a review, of Richard Petty's 1981 STP Buick Regal that he won his 7th and final Daytona 500 with in 1981. So, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into this review. So, <clears throat> this is, like I, like I said, this is, def this is going to be a little bit of a comparison video. Um, I have two of these cars. I actually have a video shot of the, uh, of a review of the other car that I'm going to be comparing it to, and I will upload that one also. But I thought I'd do a comparison video, just because, you know, there's a lot of diecasts out there where there's different brands and different makes and different kind of styles, so I thought I'd just do another little, uh, comparison video. But anyway, let's go ahead and do a review of this car first. This is the Action 1981 uh, Petty Regal, and this was released as part of the as part of the 50th uh, year of a uh, Daytona 500 series. So anyway, let's get a look at the car. On the front, we have uh, there's our grill, pretty basic, not, not a lot going on. We got 43 and STP. On the hood, we have STP. Let's get the hood open. Okay, whoop. Comes open fairly easy. There's your engine detail if you'd like to see that. Uh, actually won this off eBay. And uh, the person, I believed that had it before, the person who saw it to me, it was in the description, smoked, and uh, it kind of turned the white into yellow. So, whatever. But the car, the car is a Netherless. Pretty good condition. Anyway, let's continue with the review. The 43 on the roof. And on the deck lid, we have S Mark. The deck lid does not open. Nothing on the bumper except the 43. There is the uh, bumper that is molded into the car itself. We'll get into why that's important when we do the comparison. And on the left side of the car, we have STP on the back quarter panel. Oil treatment. And on the seat post, we have... Not really sure what that says. The top logo. Yeah, I can't really read what that is. But we got Gabriel, Southern Pride, and uh, just bef just in front of the uh, rear wheel is some type of logo. I have no idea what that is. And Moroso. We have a red window net that is accurate to the uh, car. Our uh, contingencies right here. No Winston Cup because I think this was after. Uh, Either I just didn't get it on this car, or it was after the uh, they lost the licensing. It was a cup. Let's take a look at the right side of the car. Pretty much the same. Take a look under the car. As you can see, also some of the yellowing where people smoke. Like, oh, God, people don't smoke. You ruin die casts when you smoke. And I think there is a DIN number. Yep, right here. So this is 1,000, uh, 1,472. There's our engine detail if you care to see it. Anyway, so that's the, uh, that's the action version. And I'm not going to go over this car because, like I said, I made a video of it. I just want to point these, uh, differences out. Let me kind of adjust what I'm doing here. So anyway, I had to pause it and kind of readjust my tripod and whatnot. But anyway, here is the uh, Racing Champions, a.k.a. the Ertl version. And I believe the uh, this mold of the body is... A, the molds of the body themselves are pretty much the same as far as accuracy, even though this one actually has a separate piece for the bumper, as you can see there. Uh, there's no uh, 43 on the on the back of this one and there is no um I guess where the I think the uh where the ax where the catch can went on the uh action version you can see the difference there and on the deck lid the S mark is a little different as well and it really can't you can't really tell on the camera but the uh the red colors are a lot different it is a lot more day glow orange on this one right here and it is more actually red on this one right here 
And as you can see, uh, a lot of different, you can see the subtle differences right there. We have lack of sponsorship on the C post of the Erdl one. And it also is lacking that little flag or whatever that is over the Moroso. And this one actually has a window piece in the quarter glass. And it has the Petty Enterprises logo, which is actually accurate to the car. But the window net is the incorrect color. Both have white rims, though. Here is the uh, front of the car where there's a lot of difference. That's actually chrome, plastic chrome plating. And it actually has Buick written on the Ertl one. Even though this one does, as I, as you'll see, or I'll tell you in the uh, actual full review of this one, it has cracks in the uh, paint of this one. But whatever. The blues are slightly different, not, not much. And uh, you can actually see you have little... Uh, I guess these will be braces in the Ertl one. And of course, oh yeah, the back glass has also got black braces, blue braces, and a silver lining around it. The right side of the car does not have, uh, on the action, it does not have a uh, window. On the uh, Ertl, it does. Of course, under the car, a lot of differences. It actually has a lot more detail on the Racing Champions one. And actually, uh, the bottom of this one is plastic as well. Um, all this is plastic, though. This is metal on the on the action. But the uh, underside of the car is blue on the Ertl and white on the uh, action, which I believe the blue is more incorrect is more correct. And then it's also I have to put that one down it's for you to see. But this one has blue interior. And it has more contingencies as well on the front fender. And this one lacks front contingencies. As well, it's got this little weird black thing over the uh, headlamp right there. Anyway, I just thought I'd do this for anybody who... Uh, this is more rare to find, I think. And it wasn't a real high-produced car. So, uh... The action one is might be a little bit more value, valuable, but really, if you want, if you're just looking for a piece, you know, to uh, for a collection, if you like this scheme, which this is my favorite petty scheme, uh, period. But uh, this is probably your. Just don't don't let it fool you. Yes, this one has turning wheels, but this one is still a nice grab, and it's also cheaper. So, just thought I'd give a little comparison video as I had two of these now. But they're very they're different enough where if you want to, I'd get to. And I really like both versions. But anyway, this is the uh, comparison part of it. So let's take a quick look at the box. I'm not going to go over it much because uh, this box is not in the best condition. But there are some interesting things to go over. On the front of this, this is, like I said, part of the 50 years of the Daytona 500 series that they released in 08. And there's a black and white uh, photo of... Petty's car crossing the finish line in a picture of Petty and I think that's Dale Inman with the trophy the 50th anniversary of the Town 500 logo the Richard Petty 43, Richard Petty's autograph NASCAR, Action Platinum Series 15 year, Action Silver Choice Champions yada 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 and there's of course in the background Daytona uh, Richard Petty number 43 SCP Daytona 500 50th 1981 Buick Regal one of 1,632, so a fairly rare car, especially for those standards. And on this side, you can see where somebody, don't know what happened there. That kind of upsets me, but I got this car cheaper than I probably should for this, and it doesn't bother me that much. But anyway, then we have a color photo of the car, and I do not know if they edit it for the sake of trying to make it represent the actual die cast more. As you can see, it has no sponsors on the front fender in this picture. But if you can tell, it does have... I'm going to try to zoom in. It does have, in this picture, it does have front fender sponsors. So, uh, say take that, do that which what you will, but that's kind of a... Just something I notice. But, um... 
anyway, pretty much the same same picture on this side, same stuff. You got the 43 SCP, Petty, Action. There's our legal stuff. And RC2, I wonder if that's... Huh. I wonder if that's who originally molded these uh, 81, these Buicks. GM adult collectible, I guess someone got this for $65 somewhere. Anyway, that's pretty much the box, and that's pretty much the car. Which actually is kind of funny. I, both of my uh, 81 Action Regals are... 2008 releases. This is a little bit of a longer video. Um, but I thought I'd just do this. I thought it's kind of cool to have both of these. Like I said, um, they're both really neat die casts. Um, wouldn't hurt to have both of them if you're an avid collector like me. And definitely I like the petty cars quite a bit. But uh, anyway, that's pretty much uh, it. So if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. It helped me a whole lot. You can follow me on my Instagram page at jpatdiecast underscore two. And uh, I really appreciate watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, have a great day or night, wherever you may be. And we will see you on the next one.